Okay, so let's first show this for positive integers. These are also known as counting numbers because they are the numbers you normally count with. One, two, three, and so on. So on the left side we have one, two. And on the right side we have one, two, three, four, five. We are combining them to figure out the total. So we can use the plus sign. We are using addition. We add them together and we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what we want to show in this video is that 5 plus 2 is also equal to 7. One way to do this would be to share three pom-poms from the right side to the left side. And you will notice that we have five now on the left side. We're still adding to find the total. And we have two on the right side. So by sharing the pom-poms, we get five plus two equals seven. So the reverse also happens. I want to show you another way we can show that the reverse happens while still using pom-poms. On the left side, we still have 2, we're still adding, and we still have 5 on the right to have a total of 7, which we just shown. Another way is simply to rearrange the pom-poms and switch them over to each side. We now would have 5 on the left and 2 on the right. And you can see that just rearranging the pom-poms will not change how many pom-poms there are. So the total will not change. 7 will still be 7 in this case. So 2 plus 5 does equal 5 plus 2. Okay, let's show this in yet another way. Using a roller instead of pom-poms. Using a number line instead of counters. So we will mark at 2 at first. I'm using a die to mark this. So since we start at 2 on the number line, we start at 2 when we write it down. We're going to move forward, so that's the plus sign. We're going to be adding. We're going to be using addition. We're going to move forward 5 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We see where we land at, and it is 7. Okay, let's do it the other way. Suppose we start at 5. We start with 5 when writing down as well. We're going to move forward, so we're going to use a plus sign. We're adding. We're going to use addition. We're going to move forward two steps. 1, 2. And we see we are land at 7. Okay, so why can the ruler way show us why 2 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 2. Uh, to, know, to do this, you may want to realize that you ultimately start at the very beginning at 0 to even get to your starting place. To get to the 2 at the beginning, you have to move 2 steps from 0. To get to 5 at the beginning, you have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, five steps at the beginning. So let's show this again. So suppose I wanted to do two plus five. So first I had to get there. So one, two. I'm having two steps forward at the beginning. And then I go one, two, three, four, five steps. And I do five more steps forward. Doing the other way, I'll start from zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to my starting place. So 5 steps forward now at the beginning. And then move 2 more steps. 1, 2. And then I move 2 more steps forward. So you can see we're just simply rearranging when we do each direction. It doesn't matter when you do it as long as you do both. So. And we can see that from the rule array that 2 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 2. 
Okay, I'd like to show another example to show that the 2 plus 5 was not just a coincidence. On the left, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. On the right, we have 1, 2, 3. We are going to find the total. We're going to combine them together and find the total. So we're going to add. And we find that the total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So one way to show that 7 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 7 would be to share the left pom-poms, some of them, to the right pom-poms. If we move four pom-poms to the right, we now get three on the left and seven on the right, and we see the total has not changed, just the order of the pom-poms, the arrangements, and we find out that it's still equal to ten. So we just shown this is seven, we are combining them to find a total, this is three, and when added, they equal 10. I would sure like to show you another way of why 7 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 7. You can just simply rearrange the left and right side. So we move the 3 over to the left and the 7 over to the right. And we're still adding to find the total, and we find that we're just rearranging it. The total pom-poms has not changed. We have not deleted any pom-poms or got any more pom-poms. So 7 plus 3 must equal 3 plus 7. Okay, so like the 2 plus 5 one, I would like to use a ruler to explain why 7 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 7. So... How will we use the ruler in the first place to add? Suppose that we start at 7. If we start on 7 at the number line, we start with 7 we're writing down. We're going to move forward, so we're going to add. We're going to move forward 3 steps. 1, 2, 3. And we see where we land at, and it is 10. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Or in the reverse way, we would start with 3. On the number line, start with 3 when writing down. Move forward. How many steps? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We look where we landed at. And it is 10. So 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Now, you may wonder, why does it work that way? We have to start at the very, very beginning, before going to our starting place, at 0. So, if I want to go to a starting place at 7, I have to move 7 steps forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I move 7 steps forward. And then I move three more steps forward as I want to find what 7 plus 3 is. 1, 2, 3. And I find it's at 10 like I thought. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Going the reverse way, we would start again at 0, but our starting place now would be 3. 1, 2, 3. So we have three steps forward at the beginning. And then we're going to have seven more steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are back at ten. So what you can see is that we're, either way, we're going to go three steps forward and seven steps forward, but the order may change. And if you just change the order, you're still going the same amount of steps. 
So you can see from the ruler way that 7 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 7. The next part of this series of videos is about positive numbers that are not integers. You can click on the link here below.